evening. Just missioned it up here now and uh, I got some new gear to test out. Oh, new tent, new bag, new sleeping mat. I thought I'd come this side this time because uh, I haven't had no decent sunrise the last couple of camps like so I know I'll get one over here. It rises over here, look. This would be nice. You can find a nice little spot up on this cliff. Found a nice little spot down here. It's not right up out in the open. That's why I can get up and oh, watch the sunrise, can I? Yeah, look in between these two trees. Looks like a nice little spot to me. Oh right, yeah. That's as flat as I'm gonna get. Still got an okay view through there, look. Right then. Sort it out. Sweep all this sheep poo away. New tent. Nordis Telemark 2.2. It's the PU version. I was looking at the lightweight one, but uh, it's not seam sealed or coated or anything, so I didn't like that. I got the PU version instead, like it's uh, tape seams and that. Awesome little tent, to be fair. This is the second time I've put it up. I put it up in the garden just to make sure everything was all right. And I say the poles in, stay in there, and you pack it up like so. You literally just got to put the one pole in. Put the one pole in, pick it out, and that's it. Job done. Plenty of room in here as well. Oh. I'm I'm six foot two. And I've got a few inches over end. The problem is if you've got a thick sleeping mat you'll be your feet will be up there like when they there's a fair bit of room in there though. Before you're touching. Plenty of room. Another cool feature I like is if you're on your own. Like it says it, it says it's a two-man tent, but you would use it on your own. You could just grab that. <laughs> Give yourself more vestibule space. Look. <laughs> it's a neat little idea. It still gives you enough room for your your pad and that. If you want more room. Just put him back out like <laughs> crazy, isn't it? Mod cons. I say you got I've got spare poles in there as well which you can you can pull. Yeah, I'll show you. But the you can pull this out. So you've got all that to play with in there if you the weather's bad, you want to do some cooking or whatever. Got a pole and some guidelines. Yeah, see how we get on with it. 3,000 millimeters in it. This is arched at the back here as well, look. For ventilation. Let's stop your condensation. It says if it's, if it's not windy or whatever, you can Get a little V-stick or something can hold it up, get some more ventilation. Should have come with a little a little pole loop there really so you could stick a little section of pole in it, but never mind. Yep. 
pretty wet coming up here. Oh, state of it. Sweating bucket one. That new bag as well, look. Big Angus, uh, Park View, 63 litre. And I've literally rammed it to the rafters, like, uh, just to see how she copes. And it's actually all right. Just one downside, which I should have thought about, really, before I bought it. Should have went and tried, tried it on like that. I didn't. That's the way it goes these days, isn't it? You just buy everything offline. Yeah, I put this on myself to the elastic. Stick a down jacket in there or something like that. But yeah, I... I say I'm six, I'm six foot two. I've got a 22, 23 inch back like, so it says it says get the large. I went, I done 18, 19 kilometers yesterday with it fully loaded, and I had it on the 21 inch, 21 inch mark there, and the bottom absolutely rode the bottom of my back. It was like. Like your like your ass cheeks, like you know, like the top of my ass cheeks are absolutely killing today. So I've dropped it down to 20 inch when I'm a 22, 23 inch back, like so. It should be up on the top, really, but it sits right at 21 inch, uh, 20 inch, sorry. And the arms, the arms are a lot bigger than what I what I need. So like I've got a. Well, you can see where they are, like they're pretty much right maxed out. Pretty much right maxed out, right. I wish I got a medium to be fair. Hip belt's alright, but it's on fully cinched, like. Got to literally cinch it right up, as you can see. Pretty much, pretty much cinched all the way, like. Fit to fit me. Back's a bit hard for my liking as well. It's injection moulded or whatever, injection foam or something. It's a bit hard. I do with being a bit softer, but it might soften up to be fair. As I get, as I use it a bit more. Other than that, it's a, it's a mint bag. It makes a hell of a difference, like compared to that the old Vulcan I had. Oh, yeah. Nothing was a beast. Old school, didn't it? Like I say, I've absolutely rammed, rammed, this bit. rammed it to the brink, like, it seems to be alright. It's a lot com more comfier than my other bag, anyway. It drops a few pounds. So, I like the hip pockets as well. They are removable, which is a bit weird, but I like them. Put my keys and my wallet and that in there. My phone and that side pockets are massive. Get loads in there. Got bottles of water and that. Yeah, she's nice. And I got a new sleeping pad as well. Because I'm not. The amount of years I've been camping, I've never used a, never used a air bed or a sleeping mat. I just thought they were a waste of bloody time like that. The last couple of camps I've done is the ground's uneven and that it's uh, it starts playing on me now. You know, I'm not young anymore. Well, I am. I'm 37 like that. I've had multiple bad backs over the years and other issues. That time I look after myself a bit, innit? So I've got a little, what do I get? A Robins. Robins. Super light one. I'll show you now when I empty the old bag, get my beers out. Haha, <laughs> I've got to have some beer. And get sorted. Yeah, there goes that. Robins Vapor 60.
large, I've got an extra large one because uh, obviously I'm six foot two. My feet hanging in. It's only rated to six degrees, like. Don't bother me, though. Know. Slept without anything before now, like minus seven. It's all good. The only thing is, it, it didn't come with the the bag pump like let's do it by with the old lung power it's gonna be too hard getting pumped up then yeah, there's mission down there Get some water. Oh god, how steep. Nice and quiet up here tonight. Loads of people about yesterday. I can't be. It's a bit strange for a Wednesday though. little spot <laughs> top of the world So there are many places to pitch. It's so stony like. I can pitch down there though. <laughs> if you fancied it. <laughs> right on the cliff edge. Don't want to forget, would you? enough walking for me today. I'm gonna go have a sit down. Let my legs recoup a bit. Can't sit bloody still man, that's my problem. base layer in, in my bag because uh, that t-shirt is soaking. Yeah, got the old, uh, old base layer. Put that on. 
one instead. Keep me warm. Now some food. Some water soup. And a big old slab of bacon. Something a bit random, but food's food, isn't it? Get it, get it cooking. Give me a bit. Got a cigar for after as well. Why not? I do like a cigar. Watkins Red Diesel. Strawberry cider. Says it's four percent, but I beg to differ. Good old stuff this is. Oh. No Watkins cider is the bomb. Good old stuff. What a beautiful evening. Quiet as a mouse. Yeah. Sat here in awe of my tent. <laughs> Keep fiddling. It's a good old tent. I've got this, my bag, and my. Uh, no, not my sleeping pad. I got that off somewhere else. I've got the tent and my bag from um, Absolute Snow. If you're UK you like, check them out on online, Absolute Snow, with some good deals on there. This tent on Nord, on the actual, on Nordisk website is 400 odd quid. On that Absolute Snow it's 300. I've got it 100 quid cheaper. Bag was 100 quid. Which ain't bad really for a decent backpack. So I was watching some of the reviews online about it and uh, I can't really find any of the Parkview 63 litre. They're all the, the, the prospect they're like. People are moaning about the size and stuff of them as well. Like but About like getting a large when you, when you are a large and they're, they're just too big. Because say it's you're better off going into a shop and you and trying one on before you buy them really. But never mind. I say I put that on the smallest the smallest setting I can. Everything's cinched down maximum, like as as far as you can cinch it all down and it's it fits alright, it's just everything's max like on maximum cinch, like you've got the, the waist belts on as tight as you can get it and the arm straps are as tight as you can get them like. There's no room to play. It's just tight, and that's it. It fits me perfect then, but I wish I got the medium now. But never mind. I ain't sending it back now. That's it. It fits me. Stuck it on the smallest setting on the arm straps, and it's it's not riding riding my uh, lower back like it was. I say after that after that mission I done yesterday. Oh my god. Right on the on the top of your, your bum cheeks, like you know, it was just rubbing there because it was it was lower than than my coccyx, if you know what I mean. And like with the weight in it as well, I I did have it maxed out. To be fair, what was it 50, 50 pounds? And it has twenty twenty two kilos, twenty three kilos. I don't really know off the top of my head. I think it's about about. 22 25 kilos in it but i had it i had it literally full to the rafters like maxed out i had all the little pockets filled with, with stuff and just pretty much everything that i take camping like not not stuff not stuff that i need just my whole camping gear went in there basically so i had like both tarps i've got both my bivy bags in there <laughs> i had my tent in there 
I say my bivy bags and my top I don't need like with two tops actually two tops in there one three meter by three meter one uh three meter by two meter I think it is and my two my two bivy bags which which weigh a bit don't they my first aid kit my knife I had a roll of a roll of um line in there what else do I have? I have my chest pack in there with my GoPro batteries in. Um, life straw and my little foraging mushroom book. My sleeping bag, my sleeping mat. Beers. <laughs> food. Water. Cooking stuff. I had it literally rammed. Literally rammed coats as well I put like three or four coats in there <laughs> fleeces and coats down jackets just to see how it how it felt it felt pretty good to be fair just that riding like like my shoulders weren't hurting like they would on that other bag my legs felt good it was just the fact that it was riding on, on my lower back and that could be to do with the waist belt couldn't it really but then walking up here tonight, I put it on the smaller setting, the smallest setting, 20 inch, and lifted it up a couple of inches and it cinched that, that um, waist strap down. It, it seemed to be quite nice. There's only two miles up here, isn't it, from the car park. Still doing a, a long old hike with it, really, just to see, make sure. But anyway, it is what it is. The dance site better than the the old uh, Cyclops Vulcan. Phew, that thing. I'll keep that for my bushcrafting. It ain't no good for hiking about doing long distance. Right. I've got this for my hiking bag now, and then I've got my Vulcan for woodland stuff. I'm taking it in the woods there, and my saw and that. Look. I've got a 45. Um, litre Burgos Dart 45 that's a good little bag that's my little bushcraft bag I take all my bushcraft stuff in here I say a lot of it I've, I bring, I've brung with me just to test this bag out like my bivy bag and my tarp I haven't got my, my silky like I usually carry a silky with me like that. I haven't got that my fin other stuff Mm. It's all good kit. I say I'm impressed with the tent, but how long it'll be before the novelty wears off? Too many bloody tents to choose from in there, that's the thing. I was going to get the Hubba Hubba, but it's just the same as my my other one, really. It's a, it's not low profile, is it? And it's not. Uh, Stealthy, I like this one. I've got this one, I reckon this will take the wind fetish as well, to be fair. Once it's all, I don't bother putting these out. Don't bother, there's no point, is there really? It's not windy. I reckon if it's pro proper cinched out, I reckon it'd be alright. Should take it. It's just a shame you can't get another, it hasn't got a, a bigger sleeve to get another pole in. The real bad weather like you know a lot of, a lot of good tents have got enough room to stick another pole in don't they really cinch it down but never mind oh well let's crack this side up get some bacon on <laughs> Bacon and tomato soup stew. <laughs> and blue meat. Oh. Cool down for five minutes. Oh, 
Oh, my Jesus just starting to come out. <laughs> Time me on. Half seven. I would, have I would have thought they would come out a bit earlier than this type. But... Oh, sun's going down quietly. Sitting enjoying my concoction. spot to eat your tea is it? Beautiful. So it is, is the bloody midges, right? Just sat over there now and uh, <clears throat> was walking back, walking back to my camp here. I was like, what's that in the tree there? Look at this. <laughs> like some kind of mushroom or fungus growing out of that. Out of there, look. Random, isn't it? Can't say I've ever seen that before. Especially out of like where a limb's been cut off or whatever. Must have a mycelium in it. Yeah. St stuck out. I was like, what's what's that? <laughs> Random. See any more on it? Look. Quite interesting to see what that looks like when it when it comes out. Chill out and have me a cigar now. That's it. I'm all cutched up for the night now. I'll get my bag in that next to me, see? Tony. Tony, Tony. Right then, let's see what the old sunrise is going to be like. Hopefully, banging. We'll see. Good night. Peace out. Morning, campers. Bad morning. A bit breezy though. Oh. oh, I 
didn't sleep very well. I don't know why, like. It was quiet up here. Sleeping mat's gone flat. as well it was real noisy like sleeping on a plastic bag in it perhaps that's why I didn't sleep very well this sun to come out if it's going to come out. It's pretty cloudy. Sun's trying to pop up there now. Won't be long. You're yeah, quite impressed with that tent. Station in there this morning. And to be fair, it's quite warm out here. Hot chocolate, some coffee in it. drink on the morning. Well, chill out for a bit I suppose. T-shirt dry. Son. So much for the sunrise. <laughs> A bit cloudy today, isn't it? So it's been absolutely beautiful the last two two mornings, like typical, isn't it? But never mind. Still nice to be out, isn't it?
can't get over how warm it is. Should have brought a thermometer. Even with the breeze, like the breeze is real warm as well. Didn't drop off hardly at all last night. Yeah, that's nice and clear over there, look. Burn its way through just now, isn't it? I'm in no rush. A few bats flying around last night. They're whipping around these trees over. They must live up in them somewhere. Inside this cliff or something. This snow peak cup. <clears throat> I've had it ages. It's like my little go to cup. I'd rather this than my jet boil, to be fair. I think a little frying pan to go on top of it there. Lid. I'm going to use that frying pan twice. The last time I used it. I had steak in it and I picked it up and the bloody handle folded and dropped my steak on the floor like, I was like oh no. <laughs> Alright, I'll get packed up in a minute and uh, I'll tidy up Ranger. Stuff everywhere. A couple of uh, tangerines there. I'll have, have one of them for my breakfast. Tangerine dream. That's it, we're all packed up. Ready, ready to go. Sun's trying to pop, pop his head out, like, but it's not a bad thing, really. You hike, hike it all back to the van. Yeah, to everyone that's uh, watched. Thanks, thanks to all my subscribers as well. They keep going up and down, but we keep persevering, and we. Yeah, have to leave a comment, like if, you, if anything you want to see on the channel, like you know. Because I say I'm only. Just documenting my journey out in nature, like you know. If there's anything you want to see, then 
let me know. Right then, let's get packed up. Get that bag on my back. Let's get on. Let's wait on my back now, look. I drank, I drank my beers. Drank my water. Ate my food. That's where we stayed up on me. Onto the pass now from here and head back to the van. Yeah, I don't know if you can see on this camera, like, but. There's hundreds of ice martins just tapping the water, I'm flying around just tapping the water. Hell of a flock of them. I can't zoom in, can I? So. Flying round and round in circles, like <laughs> after the bugs. Hmm. That's awesome. She's right this morning as well. Let's go home. 